what's going on guys welcome back to the channel welcome back i know it's gonna be a while before you guys see this video but we are trucking on with the sons of anarchy reactions i'm planning to wrap up season six in this reaction session right here three more episodes to go um so here we go i'm working on the other stuff on the channel too so yes with no further ado we know what's going on i'm not in the I don't know what's going to happen to Tara at this point. I'm afraid that she might not be on the show for season seven. I think something tragic is going to happen to her character. And I'm just a little bit worried because as much as I disagree with what she's going through, um, um, what the position that she chose to put herself in right now um, by her actions, I'm not an advocate for her dying in the series right now because the boys they still need their mother you know but you know she caused this on herself you know what i'm saying at the end of the day she needed to realize that she wasn't dealing with typical people you get what i'm saying Jax is not an average day-to-day -day guy like me <laughs> you know what i'm saying like you're dealing with a uh, a criminal that's trying to get out of his criminal ways but at the end of the day he's still a criminal so he's gonna think like a criminal he's gonna do things a little bit different when it comes on to protecting his children you know what i'm saying most fathers are going to go the distance to try to keep their kids no matter what type of person they are you know what i'm saying so you can look at it and say oh jack's criminal you should just let him go it's just like that like for me as i've said before in my pre in my previous reactions where you know in my reviews where i've talked about like if i was in a in that position i would have let her go you get what i'm saying because i mean as i said in a realistic situation most fathers would have to let her be you get what i'm saying she wouldn't i don't think she would have to do that much in real life to get away with the kids you get what i'm saying and most moms would have probably ratted out their dad a long time ago <laughs> anyways but that's just my opinion anyways um but realistically in real life things would have played out a, a, a lot differently in the, in those situations i don't think she would have had to go through all of that pretending that she was pregnant and all of this other stuff to get the boys away from their criminal dad you get what i'm saying and to not have the boys grow up in that situation i don't think it would have played out the same way but in a situation where she's also trying to shield herself because um she could be prosecuted for you know aiding and abetting a criminal you know con conspiracy charges and stuff like that like she was trying to save herself from all of that prosecution that's why she went to the da at the end of the day is to get a deal so she can be um immune from any prosecution so that's just how it is anyways guys let's jump into these episodes i got three hours to do this let's get it i'll see you guys for the review All right, so post production thoughts on season six. Um, I've been wanting to do this. My mic is a little bit too loud. Let me turn it down. Sounds good. All right, clipping a little bit there. Anyways, appreciate you guys for all the support that you have supported throughout season six. Appreciate you guys watching the videos, of course. Um, we're heading into the final season of Sons of Anarchy, but I just want to give my thoughts on season six and how I think it was handled. I did give some partial thoughts <laughs> and save some for this because I wanted to do a season six review here. I'm still going to tack this on as my review um, for the final three episodes of the season. Um, but I'm just going to give my season six review alongside <clears throat> my thoughts on those three episodes as well. So from what I saw and from what I understood from where they were trying, what they were trying to do with the writing in the show, the season started off a little bit slow for me. And I talked about it too. Like it, it started out a little bit slow. Usually 
for the first five seasons of the show episode one was like we're here you know what i'm saying but this season we didn't really get anything at the beginning of the season it was more of like setting up some plots establishing you know the conflicts and all of this other stuff but they never really hit us with a boom you know what i'm saying so it was a little different and that's why i was like the pacing was a little bit different for the first couple of episodes of the season um i, I would say probably the first three or four episodes of the season was the pacing was really slow they were taking their time and then they picked things up and then the ball got rolling and we were in for a treat now when it comes to to um to season six and there's certain things there's a lot of things that happened that i did not expect to happen even though during the course of watching it i still saw certain things coming um i didn't expect them to happen i didn't go into the season and be like okay tara is going to die okay um you know it's gonna end up here or like i never would have thought that they would go this far like clay is gonna die this season i thought clay would have survived the show i really did think clay would have survived the show out of everybody that i would think that was going to die clay was not one of them even though because there were so many times when this guy should have been dead and he did not die shout out to the author of this show man he showed up big six seasons um even though we didn't see a lot of him his acting was incredible um as Otto in prison it was very excruciating to watch him go through all of that in prison and doing so many things for the club that he didn't really have to do you know and put Tara in a in a, in a tight spot and at the same time you know when you when you look at what Tara did because of the whole prison thing afraid of going to prison and as I said you know some people have said in the comment section you know I have to see Tara's side also and, and, and I do I do I've said it multiple times that I understand her perspective I understand why she did what she did I understand the parental instincts to do the things that she did but does does it make it right you get what I'm saying does it make it morally correct for her to do these things in this in, in in the um for the sake of you know just getting away you get what i'm saying um i one of the things that i that i actually think of tara and the way how she thinks that she understood Jax, and for me i knew that Jax was the type of person that if Tara goes to him, if he if she goes to him and say, hey, I want to get the boys out of this situation, man. I don't want them to follow in your footsteps. I don't want them to have to, you get what I'm trying to say? And as much as Jax wants to hold on to his family and stuff like that, I do, be, I, I believe from the bottom of my heart just watching the type of character that they've been written from writing from season one and the things that he says in the journal and stuff like that like i never in a million years thought that Jax would ever hurt tara even if she ran away with the kids i never thought he would do it i never it would have been a surprise and as i've said during the reaction when i was reacting i'm like if they write Jax to hurt tara in any way physically i would be extremely surprised and very upset about that turn of switching the character we're not talking about game of thrones daenerys kind of stuff like i hated that change that they made with daenerys in game of thrones like it just it, there was people are saying oh there there there, there was it was building up to that it just it, it didn't feel right to me and in this circumstance if they have done if they did that i would have felt the same way if it was just a 360 thing with Jax when it comes to tara i'm, th I'm not talking about other people the, the the violent crime criminal 
side of him. I'm talking about the the way how he felt like towards Tara. Tara being his soulmate. Like I could never imagine. I can expect that. I I expect that kind of behavior from Clay because Clay is an extremely selfish person. So when he hit Gemma, it did not surprise me. You get what I'm saying? Like it didn't surprise me. You know what I'm saying? I just wanted them to kill him because of that. So, you know, certain things that happen, you know, juice spilling the beans to Nero, Nero now joining forces. I guess that's going to play into a lot of things coming into season seven and stuff like that. But the biggest thing about season six was the relation, the, the trial of the relationship between Tara and um Jax and I really do believe they did a very good job of portraying both characters I was very um sad to see Tara go I saw it coming Gemma jumped the gun and I'm not gonna stop blaming Wayne for this Wayne is the reason answer he is the reason why Tara is dead right he's the reason behind it I've never seen such dumbness <laughs> man this dude is, is 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 he was one of my favorite characters up until the moment this this complete and utter simp simpness that he has for Gemma is what led to all of this because I mean it's it's you know what I'm saying Anytime in a situation like this where she 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 wants to leave the house, right? She wants to leave. She you know what sh her intent is of you telling her that you know she's gonna go after Tara. Use your brain. You know she's gonna go after Tara. I was like the minute I saw him go, it says I was like Gemma is going after Tara, and this is not going to go well. You know what I'm saying? I think in some ways and the way how the scene played out it doesn't seem like Gemma thought that she would be there and that's the thing I don't know why she went over to the to the house I I don't I don't want to say maybe I'm wrong about this because I don't think Gemma expected Tara to be there I think she went over there to maybe talk to Jax maybe I don't know, but the way how the scene played out, it doesn't seem like she wanted, it doesn't seem like she went over there looking for Tara because she was already there before Tara came home. She, Tara thought it was Unser that was there because of the truck, right? So I, I don't know, I don't, I, I don't know if Tara, if, if Gemma actually went over there to look for her, you know what I'm saying? But I had an inkling, I was saying that she went over there to look for Tara, but I don't think that's what she, I don't think she left, I think she left to maybe go talk to Jax to find out what was happening, or to tell Jax to not give himself, turn himself in, I, I don't know, she didn't know about the deal anyways, so I'm talking foolishness to you, forget I said that, um, I don't think that she went over there to go after Tara Jax came back to spend the last you know few moments he has before he turns himself in I wonder what they're going to think now because of all of this because they're probably going to pin this all on Jax right um they're probably they're I don't think they're going to because I don't know what happened because it looked I don't know what Juice did I don't know because I was actually thinking that Juice is probably going to take the fall for for Gemma that's what I was thinking at one point but but then I was like why did he leave the house because I you know why not stay and take the blame so Gemma can get off the hook completely I don't know so there are things that I'm thinking about I don't know what season 7 is going to be about um I'm pretty sure we're gonna lose probably a couple more members um Bobby we almost lost Bobby um Galen is dead 
I mean, it was a brilliant plan by the club to take to take out those guys, Galen and them. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Because at least, at least um, we know that Galen's number two. I don't remember his name. Whatever his name is. That dude is so scared. I don't know how long he's going to survive. Because he's just as bad as the as as the dude that's running the Niners right now. He's just as bad. It's still really scared, dude. And we also got to talk about the Mayans moving in and them going at it. You know, moving into Stockton and all of this other stuff. Killing, creating war for no reason. Alvarez just coming in just out of the blue. Just doing stupid things right now to mess up everything. You know, just to to oh, all the necessary sacrifices and all of this other stuff. Like it season seven is gonna be the culmination of everything, and I'm looking forward to it. But, anyways, this is pretty much all I have to say. The season was awesome. I'm gonna give it a solid nine out of ten season. A solid nine out of ten. There were things that they could have done better, in my opinion. Um, the writing was incredible, so there's no points lost there. I just think there, there's certain scenes that they could have done better. Um, there's certain there, there's a part of the show that I don't necessarily feel that much, and it happens almost every episode. And it is this music that plays while you know they're just cutting from scenes to scenes to show different characters and stuff like that of what's going on and it always happens sometime close to the end of the episode i'm not a big fan of it um i understand the context and the setting that they're trying to set but to do it every single pr pretty much every episode and then you show how the episode ends it just kind of comes off a little cheesy sometimes and this is this is my preference you know what i'm saying that's just my preference i'm just nitpicking at this point um you know sometimes it works sometimes it doesn't is what i'm trying to say um it's not all the time and sometimes i'm really listening like to the song and to the words and like the song has nothing to do with what's going on right now you know but maybe that's just me you know what i'm saying um but in any case man it was an incredible ride season six looking forward to season seven i don't know when i'm gonna start watching it but um just hold on to your horses the time will come very soon anyways guys thank you guys so much for tuning in as always man see you guys for season seven as always leave a like on the video leave a comment and i will catch you guys later man peace